is something that looks exactly like your period it might be lighter it might not be as it should be it might um, have a short out duration the length of flow the strength of flow might not be as it should be hello and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be responding to a question that says is the period in cryptic pregnancy real period now if you've been following my videos on cryptic pregnancy you would have noticed that we've talked so much about um periods in cryptic pregnancy and what it looks like so if this is your first time on this channel please click on the subscribe button turn on notification bell so you keep getting updates when there's a new video and for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for stopping by. So the cryptic pregnancy is a unique kind of pregnancy. It is a kind of pregnancy that happens in one out of every 475 pregnancies. And in this case, this pregnancy can go unnoticed for up to 20 weeks. And sometimes it gets only diagnosed when the woman goes into labor and brings forth. So you discover that this pregnancy is very rare, but it does exist. And with cryptic pregnancy, you continue to get your monthly period, period in quotes. Now, once you get pregnant, like in the normal, in the normal, you are meant not to see your period again until after delivery. This is because as soon as pregnancy happens, a different hormone is in charge and thus do not trigger menstrual cycle. So of course, the uh, menstrual phase, the ovulation phase, are no longer in place so pregnancy is developing but in a case of cryptic pregnancy something unique happens and that is the fact that you continue to see blood monthly like it continues to come like it's your normal period the fact is it might not be something that looks exactly like your period it might be lighter it might not be as it should be it might um, have a short out duration the length of flow the strength of flow might not be as it should be but you keep getting this monthly and that is what makes cryptic pregnancy really really more difficult to diagnose the fact that you keep seeing this blood monthly and then there's a negative pregnancy test ultrasound is also negative in this regard so you discover that it is very difficult for this woman to really know if she's pregnant or not so now coming to this question that says is the period in cryptic pregnancy real period it is not a real period it is usually referred to as a pseudo menstruation all right when you hear about pseudo it is something that kind of looks like what is not so normally you're supposed to get your period if you're not pregnant but once you get pregnant your period is not meant to come but sometimes when you get pregnant at the early stage you get something that might look like your period but it's not your period you get something that might look like your period but not your period is usually referred to as implantation bleeding and as the pregnancy progresses sometimes it just ceases there are women that continue to spot on and off through their first trimester but most of the time it is not like it continues to come all the time like the normal time you're supposed to get your period you continue to see this flow monthly no now usually you will feel like if you're pregnant and you're bleeding three things come to your mind it is either that it is an early miscarriage like you're about to miscarry it is a threatened miscarriage another reason you might actually be bleeding while pregnant is that it is a topic pregnancy this is a situation where this pregnancy implants somewhere else that is not in the womb it can implant in the fallopian tube and for the fact that the tube is not big enough as the pregnancy begins to develop the tube can actually rupture going to be bleeding into the peritoneum so you're going to be getting some form of bleeding for a topic pregnancy the bleeding is not heavy most times it's light sometimes it comes and it stops but one thing is you get very sharp pain on the part of the uh, lower abdomen where the pregnancy implanted if it is in the right fallopian tube you get the pain on the right if it's on the left you get the pain on the left but one thing about it is that you see blood all right so that is another reason you might actually be bleeding in early pregnancy another reason is that it is a molar pregnancy that's also an abnormal kind of pregnancy so of course you'll be seeing blood so these are abnormal situations with early pregnancies 
But with cryptic pregnancy, it is not just that you're going to be seeing blood. You're going to be seeing this blood monthly around the time you're supposed to be, be getting your normal period. So, of course, as a woman, you would really mistake this to be your normal period because, of course, the pregnancy test is already negative. Your scan is also negative. So, of course, what else? It is your period you're going to see, but that is not a real period. That is a pseudo menstruation. That's a pseudo period, like something that looks like your period, but is not. All right, so normally it is just a form of bleeding that you are getting, but not a monthly period. But with cryptic pregnancy, this bleeding is consistent monthly. And for those that have irregular period, this can really go unnoticed the more because of the fact that they really do not know um, when and when they get their period. Sometimes the period just come, sometimes it doesn't come. So they're already used to the fact that their period does not come regularly. But for you who have a regular period and notice that all of a sudden your period is not consistent, your period does not come when it should come, or maybe your period is lighter than normal, the duration is shorter than normal and all that, you would feel concerned and want to dig deeper into the reason your period suddenly changed. So that is it about period with cryptic pregnancy. It is not like a real period. It is a pseudo period, a pseudo menstruation that is not what your menstrual period usually should be so that is my answer to your question so i hope you um really understood what i said but if you still have any confusion if you still have any queries you can drop it in the comment and i'm going to respond to them as soon as i get them so thank you for watching this video see you again in the next one and you can check link to the other videos on cryptic pregnancy and just check um watch them please and please subscribe and like this video as well bye bye